So looking at Tesla stock, it was up by 0.8 of a percent uh, yesterday off the back of all that news. You're up to date. Thanks for your company and have a lovely day. This is BBC World News, I'm Nancy Kachingira. Our top stories. A threat to our very existence. As wildfires continue to rage, President Biden pledges to make the biggest ever investment to combat climate change. I will do everything in my power, clean our air and water, protect our people's health, to win the clean energy future. Firefighters battle wildfires across Europe as a heat wave continues to move north. Sorry. I don't know, don't know what we're going to find. If it's going to be us. No trees, nothing, no I don't know. Despite winning a confidence vote, is Italy's Prime Minister about to offer his resignation again? And the Lionesses of England roar into the semi finals of the Euros after clawing back a victory against Spain. Hello there and welcome to BBC World News. President Biden has used a visit to Massachusetts to issue the latest stark warning on the threat posed by climate change. The US president is using executive powers to usher in measures including offshore wind farms and expanded flood control. With a heat dome now affecting 28 states, the US is the latest country to swelter with high temperatures. Here's our North America correspondent, Peter Bowes. A very tough job ahead there for the new president. Thank you very much, Amber Asan Etirajan, for joining us from Colombo. Now do stay with us here on BBC News. Still to come, rare film footage shows the oldest moving images of one of America's most famous cities. Hello, you're watching BBC World News. This is our top story. A clear and present danger. President Biden pledges to make the biggest ever investment to combat climate change, but stops short of declaring an emergency. Italy's Prime Minister Mario Draghi is likely to tender his resignation for the second time in a week later on Thursday after three parties in his coalition refused to back him in a confidence vote. Mr Draghi will attend a debate in the lower house of parliament and is then expected to see the president where it's thought that he'll offer to stand down. Well I'm joined now by Daniela Albertazzi, professor of polit politics at the University of Surrey. Thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, let's start with how we got here. What caused this political crisis? It's certainly evolved since then. Find me on Twitter. I'm at Kat Chingira. Stay with us here on BBC World News. This is BBC World News. The headlines. As wildfires rage across Europe and the US, President Biden has issued the latest stark warning on the threat posed by climate change. He's pledged to invest $2.3 billion on a range of new measures. 
firefighters across Europe are struggling to cope with wildfires caused by a severe heat wave. In France's Gironde, an area covering more than 200 square kilometers has been destroyed in the worst fires there in over 50 years. The beleaguered Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi has won a confidence motion in the Senate, but three parties from his coalition boycotted the vote, which means he will be forced to resign, probably sometime later on Thursday. In Sri Lanka, Ranil Vikramasinghe has been sworn in as president after winning a parliamentary vote on Wednesday. The six-time Prime Minister replaces Gotabaya Rajapaksha, who resigned following weeks of protests over the country's dire economic situation. Let's return now to the race to become Britain's next Prime Minister. There are two candidates left in the running, the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak and current Foreign Secretary Liz Truss. Members of the Conservative Party will now decide which of them will take over the British government. Here's our political correspondent, Jonathan Blake. Time for more news now, this time all the sports news. Hello there, I'm Tolson Tollett and this is your Sports News where we start with the European Women's Football Championship and England are through to the semi-finals after a 2-1 extra time win over Spain. Now you can get all the latest sports news of course at our website, that's bbc.com forward slash sport. But for me, Tolson Tollett and the rest of the team, that's your Sports News for now. Thanks for that. Quidditch, a real-life game that's inspired by the fictional world of Harry Potter, is undergoing a name change. It's now to be called Quadball. The sports governing bodies have agreed to the change, citing what they call J.K. Rowling's anti-trans position. Harry Potter author has denied being transphobic. The game has so far attracted 600 teams in 40 countries. Stay with BBC World News. World Business Report is up next. This is BBC World News. I'm Nancy Kachingira. Our top stories. Sri Lanka's new president is sworn in and warns he will deal firmly with what he calls undemocratic efforts to topple the government. Despite winning a confidence vote, is Italy's prime minister about to offer his resignation again? A threat to our very existence. As wildfires continue to rage, President Biden pledges to make the biggest ever investment to combat climate change. I will do everything in my power to clean our air and water, protect our people's health, to win the clean energy future. Firefighters battle wildfires across Europe as a heat wave continues to move north. Sorry. I don't know, I don't know, I'm going to be fine. It's going to be us. No trees, nothing, no, I don't know. Hello, welcome to BBC World News. Thank you for joining us. Sri Lanka's new president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, has been sworn into office in Colombo. He faces the task of leading the country out of its economic collapse and restoring order after months of mass protests. But many protest leaders have expressed disappointment at Mr. Vikramasinghe's elevation, making it clear that they'll continue with their demonstrations. Now, Let's hear now from Amber Asen Etirajan reporting from Colombo. All right, James Waterhouse in Kiev. Thank you very much for that update. I uh, hope you can stay with us here on BBC News. Still to come, rare film footage shows the oldest moving images of one of America's most famous cities. Hello, you're watching BBC News. Let's return now to those wildfires that are burning in countries across Europe. The BBC's Guy Hedgeco is in Madrid. Uh, Guy, we're seeing dramatic pictures all around the continent. Tell us what's happening in Spain. 
fascinating to look back more than a hundred years at that footage remember you can find me on twitter i'm at kachangira do stay with us here on bbc world news This is BBC News. I'm Nancy Kachungira. Our top stories. Mario Draghi announces he will resign. The Italian Prime Minister tells Parliament he intends to speak to the President and inform him of his intentions. Sri Lanka's new President is sworn in and warns he'll deal firmly with what he calls undemocratic efforts to topple the government. A threat to our very existence. As wildfires continue to rage, President Biden pledges to make the biggest ever investment to combat climate change. I will do everything in my power to clean our air and water, protect our people's health, to win the clean energy future. Firefighters battle wildfires across Europe as a heat wave continues to move north. Sorry. I don't know, don't know what we're going to find. If it's going to be just... No trees, nothing, no something, I don't know. Hello, and for all of you watching on PBS and around the globe, a very warm welcome. In just the last few moments, Italy's Prime Minister Mario Draghi has announced he intends to resign. Speaking to Parliament after his coalition splintered, he was given a standing ovation. He's now going to meet the country's president. I'm joined by our correspondent Mark Lowen in Rome. Mark, bring us up to date. Stay with us here on BBC News. Still to come, rare film footage shows the oldest moving images of one of America's most famous cities. You're watching BBC World News, our top story. Mario Draghi announces his intention to step down. The Italian Prime Minister tells Parliament he will speak to the President and inform him of his intentions. Now, Russia says its military focus in Ukraine is no longer just in the east of the country. It comes as the U.S. announced that it would provide Ukraine with more long-range weapons. James Waterhouse has more from Kiev fascinating scenes from hundreds of years ago. Now, just to remind you of our breaking story, Italy's Prime Minister has announced his resignation. You can find details of that on our website, bbc.com. Thank you for joining us and stay with us on BBC World News. I'm Nancy Kachingira. Bye for now. Hello. It was Denmark's turn on Wednesday to break heat records. The exceptionally hot weather 